Hey guys, welcome to Pokemon White. Um, in the last part, we got our starter and we made it through Route. Well, we didn't get our starter in the last part. We we made it through Route Two. Uh, just making sure I have my Pokemon healed up. Uh, so yeah, right here it says we're here in Striaton, and uh, we're gonna challenge the gym, but uh, it's not until later on. Um, so we're gonna head in the Dream Yard. Uh, in the in the Japanese version, uh, it's called the Dream Lot, which is kind of kind of weird. But there's a few trainers in here, you know the usual. Here's the first one right here. Probably probably just the basic purloins and the little cups. You know. So yes, yeah, she's got a purloin level eight. And I said our tsunami, and uh, this is gonna be pretty. I uh, hope you guys like the new format. I worked pretty hard on it. Uh, I know there's a big empty space on the left right there, but that's going to be used for the gym battle, so that's actually going to be used for something. It's not just going to be there for no reason. Um, so yeah, after we defeat that Perlon, just have another Perlon. We're almost level 12, though, which is good. Uh, just keep, I'm pretty much just spamming water, water gun. Uh, let's see. Okay, we go up to level 12. Yay! And all our steps raise, and that's good. Okay, so we get some, we get our money from her, and uh, let's go over and battle this dude right here. Let's see what he has to say. Okay, let's battle. Youngster Joey would like to battle. Youngster Joey's like in all the games. Have you ever noticed that? There's always a Youngster Joey. Okay, Pat Rat level 7. Um, so we're going to use Water Gun, of course, because that's probably our, I mean, that's our best move. Because it gets the same type of attack bonus. Uh, get some experience points, send out another Pat Rat. So the girl, the first girl had two Purloins, and now this kid has two Pat Rats. Or three Pat Rats, I think. Because he's a third Pokemon, let's see if it's a Pat Rat. Uh, no, it's a Lollipop. I should have should have seen that coming. Okay, Lollipop level seven, normal type. Just do whatever you want to it. She's a water gun, and it's done. Water gun, and it's done. We're almost level thirteen. That was easy experience. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this item right here. It is an X Defend, which could be helpful depending on how you prefer to battle. You know, I'm probably not gonna use it. I'll end up selling it later. So if you talk to this girl, she'll see that you have your starter, and she will give you a monkey. And its type is a uh, it, its type depends on what your what starter you chose. So if you choose um if you chose Oshawott, you get a Panseer. If you choose Snivy, you get a um a Panpour. And if you chose a uh, Tepig, then you get a a Pan Sage. So yeah, you know, I named it Inferno. It's not going to be on my team. Um, I'm using it for the gym because that's pretty much what it's there for. You're you're supposed to get it for the gym since the gym has your weakness. So I'm pretty much just going to use them for the gym. Once once I'm the gym, done with the gym, I'm going to uh, stop using them. I'm probably just going to release them later, or I could use them as a stalling Pokemon for when I need to heal. But I don't know yet. Okay, so. Now that we have our Inferno, uh, the gym is still blocked off by that old man, so let's head in the trainer school. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, there's Sharon. Let's go talk to Sharon. Hey, what, what are you doing? Yeah, we're looking for the gym leader, so, yeah, can we battle? Sure, let's battle. So, yes, we're going to battle Sharon. Sharon is the most annoying person in this game. He always battles us. He always talks. He always uses items. He always sends out his starter first, and that's not good because we have Tsunami up. But I, I still think we could beat him. Yeah, we're four levels ahead of him anyway, so let's, I think we could beat him. Come on. I'm gonna go for a Tail Whip just because uh, I just wanna. Have to finish the thing, so I go off with another tail with him. Yeah, Tackle does a bunch of damage, I think. Did I get a critical hit? No, I don't think it did. Oh, well. 
So yes, it's starting to focus energy. It's a good move. I'm gonna get rid of Water Sport because Water Sport's worthless. I don't really think I need it. Focus Energy um, raises your chances of critical hits, which is very helpful. But it seems to only work when you're no matter what. Uh, it only seems to work when uh, when you don't really need a critical hit. There, I just got one. That's good. Okay. So yeah, we just finished him off. We got two critical hits on both of his Pokemon, so <laughs> that was good. Um, he gives us some Oran Berries after you defeat him, and, uh, so yeah, he'll go back to the backboard, gla the blackboard. So let's talk to a few of these people. You press B when a Pokemon is evolving, it'll stop it. Uh, so yeah, let's take a quiz on status problems. The first question, which of the following items cures poison? It's antidote, da da da. Right answer, now for the next question. Item that cures paralysis, par paralysis is Paralyzed Heal, but which wakes up sleeping Pokemon? Awakening, duh. Isn't that pretty obvious? So yeah, if you get them all right, he gives you the full heal, which heals any status problem. Um, talk to this girl. Abilities are important. Yes, okay. Talk to this old man. Yeah, he's talking about the trainer school. Let's talk to this dude. Some moves can only be taught with eight TMs. Uh, so yeah, he talks about TMs. So not very important. Okay, so let's heal up one more time before we take on the gym. Uh, yes, come on, heal faster. Come on, Nurse Joy, heal faster. Okay, so now that we've healed up, uh, we can take on the gym. Whoa, there's a guy standing in front. So yes, we want to challenge you. We have an Oshawa. So I guess we're going to be facing you. Because you're the gym leader. Or well, one of the three gym leaders. So this guy's going to stop you. Uh, he's going to give you a fresh water. It heals 50 HP. And uh, he only gives you one. This gym puzzle isn't hard at all. You just look at the type on the curtain, since that's fire type. And you choose, you press the button that um, that's its weakness. So since that's fire, you choose water because fire is weak to water. This guy welcomes you to the gym, and we'll take him on. Waiter Maxwell, what a fancy name! So he sent out his Lillipup level 11. That's pretty high for where we are so far. Uh, and then we will send out our epic tsunami. Yes. Okay, he's biting not flinch. What the heck? Why would you have to flinch? He uses Odor Sleuth or how do you pronounce that? Uh, we use a water gun, water gun, water gun, water gun, tackle. Uh, yeah, we got our experience points and we finish him. Okay, um, so now that water, that's water, so we click on the grass button and now we battle this trainer. Yes, this girl, this girl, chick, whatever you want to call her right here, she's going to battle us. And uh, let's see what she has. She sends out a pat rat, of course. Everybody has a pat rat these days, except me. And mostly everybody. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use a quick water gun. And what, two water guns will knock it out, so. Okay, two hit KO. Oh, come on, you just had to live that, didn't you? Now we're about to die, so. Um, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Yay, I'm level 14. Which is good. So, she sends out, uh, she's gonna send out Purloin. And I'm gonna keep Tsunami out there. I'm gonna heal real quick. I'm gonna use that fresh water. Like, right now, let's use a potion. Now, yeah, I'm gonna use a potion. Okay, um, so, yeah, now we can finish this Purloin off once and for all. Um, she uses Sand Attack. Of course, because she has to be an accuracy noob. No one likes an accuracy noob, come on. Yeah, Perloin fainted, so what now, waitress Tia? Looks like a fairy. I'm so, I'm so bad. Okay, so, uh, let's heal up real quick. I just don't feel like running to the Pokemon Center, so let's just get Tsunami up to full health. Uh, this actually took me a try or two to beat this, uh, gym, so... 
Uh, this is my third attempt, I think. Uh, yeah, so we press fire, because grass is weak to fire, and now we can battle this guy. He kept getting critical hits last time. He would use, he would spam work up and uh, get his attack and special attack stats to, like, five levels higher, so, and then he'd get a lucky critical hit, which would finish all my Pokemon off. It would just, it just got on my nerves, so, this is my third time trying to beat him, so hopefully this will work out. Uh, let's talk to him and battle him. I was fixing my settings a second. Okay. Uh, so yes, we're battling Silent. <coughs> you can see his team over on the left. Uh, he has a a Lillipup level 12. Uh, I don't really need to read the move sets. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but he's normal type. You know, he has the basic tackle. Work up is what you need to look out for. Work up will raise his. Uh, attack and social attack stats by one stage. There it goes. He used to work up right there. If he gets too many of those out, he actually can be a, a really big threat. He could wipe out your team if he gets enough of those up. And he sends out his Pan Sage level, uh, I think it's level 14 or 12. Uh, hold on, let's see. It says over on the sidebar, so just look over there. He's level 14, so we sent it out Inferno just to, uh, knock him out. See, work up. If he gets too many of those up, then it can really be a pain. Uh, it can really get annoying after a while because he'll knock out all your Pokemon in one hit and it'll get so annoying. Um, you might want to have a few potions on hand. With me, I only have one, but I still have that fresh water, but it, we don't really need it because we're about to knock him out. Yes! We beat him! Yay! Inferno goes up to level 11. Yes, that's good. Very, very good. Okay. Um, now, we get the badge. You see the cool 3D animation, and you see your badge case open up, and it goes in. Boom. Okay, uh, so we get the trio badge from Silen, and proof of your, vi it's proof of your victory. All Pokemon up to level 20 will listen to you, and he gives you TM83 work up. TMs can be used as much as you want in this game, which is very helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode.